The Australian government has allocated $100 million to establish an aircraft coating facility at the Royal Australian Air Force Base in Williamtown, New South Wales. The primary goal of this investment is to enhance the stealth capabilities of the nation's fleet of F-35 fighters. The facility will apply specialized paint to the aircraft, ensuring effective camouflage from radar systems of potential adversaries. This initiative is expected to significantly bolster Australia's air combat capabilities. Notably, it marks the first application of this particular paint outside the United States. The project is a collaborative effort with Bay Systems Australia, who expressed excitement over expanding their capabilities to support the F-35 for the Royal Australian Air Force. Bay Systems has played a pivotal role in collaborating with Lockheed Martin on the Global F-35 initiative, contributing to the development, production, and ongoing maintenance of the aircraft fleet. Minister for Defence Industry Pat Conroy highlighted the significance of the specific paint used on F-35A Lightning II fighter jets. This paint possesses the ability to absorb radar waves instead of reflecting them, enhancing the aircraft's stealthiness in the sky. Minister Conroy emphasized the F-35's advanced stealth capabilities and networking proficiency, which allow it to remain undetectable on radar and seamlessly collaborate with other fighter aircraft. The responsibility of maintaining and servicing the Australian fleet of 63 F-35A aircraft falls on Bay Systems, who will also manage the new coating facility. The establishment of this facility is expected to create around 25 new permanent local positions and integrate with the existing team of approximately 360 personnel dedicated to F-35A sustainment at Newcastle Airport. The design of the coating facility is set to be completed by the end of the current year, with construction commencing around mid-2024. The overall expenses for the project are projected to exceed $100 million. The facility will not only support Australian F-35s but also maintain other F-35A fleets in the Indo-Pacific region, potentially transforming Newcastle Airport into a regional hub for these operations. Over the next three decades, the initiative's impact is expected to generate up to 750 direct and indirect employment opportunities across Australia, contributing to the country's economic growth. Please make sure to like and subscribe and share the video.